Hi, everyone. Hi, welcome to Be Your Own Superstar live show. I am your live stream host, Joey Garrity, and the founder of 113 Branding Digital Agency. You can connect with me at 113branding.com. You can also find me over on Facebook, and you can also find my group, the red carpet super red carpet for superstar entrepreneurs and join that group as well it doubles as a huge spotlight love to see you there as well i worked for um 15 plus years in the hollywood entertainment business and major studios and i learned how to get very visible and how to leverage influence i also learned how to spotlight others in a big way and i love spotlighting others and that's why i created the show i bring on superstars in their field from every field and they share tips, strategies, tools, resources with all of us so that we can all elevate to superstar status in what we're doing out there in the marketplace. And today I have a very dear friend and I met her in Canada when I was out there doing workshops with Susan Jacobs. Her name is Sue Dawes and I'm gonna bring her up from the green room. Hi Sue, how are you? Hi, Joey. Fantastic to be here. I'm so glad that I was, you're here. I was actually just thinking about that where we met just before coming on to the show and thinking, well, you like to spotlight other people, but I want to spotlight you for a second. Oh. Because that show, that workshop that we did together, that changed things for me. Like oh. it, it really made me see visibility and the connection with visibility and influence in a different way. And it, it's really changed the last few years for me. So thank you. Well, well, thank you. Thank you so much for sharing that. That makes my heart sing, right? Because yeah, that's why we're yeah. all here is to be sharing our gifts and talents with the world. And today's topic, which I thought was perfect for you, was dig in with courage with Coach Sue. And I was absolutely, so let's dive right into the digging in with courage, sister, because I know you talk a lot Sounds about good. this in your blogs. And we're gonna talk about your blogs too as we go along so people can connect with you there as well. But what is your definition currently of courage? For me, courage is a number of things. Courage is the ability to do something that you're afraid of. It's also strength in the face of pain or grief. But I take it even a step further than that. And for me, it's it's something about inner resourcefulness and being able to stick to something that matters to you even when it's hard. Yeah, so it's you're quite talking, so broad. It, it's part of the journey, right? And so I know that you talk a lot about being uncomfortable and and mm. you know and how you have to kind of lean in and fear is just an emotion and all those kinds of things. So I found it really courageous um, and very cool that you call yourself the courage coach. Now, can you share with the audience out there how you came up with that, that title? Because I think that is super cool. Yeah. Well, one thing I want to say first off is being a courage coach does not mean I'm good at courage. What it means is I need courage. Oh. So one of the things that I've I've struggled with a lot in my own life is is fear and worry and nervousness about everything. And for a really long time, what that did for me is it it shut me down in a lot of ways. And so what I needed in my life was more courage to be able to do whatever it was, you know, whether that was doing something that I was afraid of failing at or looking looking foolish in front of other people, whatever it was, it was courage that was what I needed in order to, to do those things and be able to move forward. So really the, the courage coach uh, came, came up for me in that I think every single one of us can benefit from being more courageous in our lives. So true, it's so true. Yeah. We really can. One of, one of my, one of my favorite quotes is actually by Anais Nin, and it's life shrinks or expands in proportion to one's courage. And well, boy, is that ever true for me. That to me is a beer and superstar paparazzi moment because I love how you've taken your one of your life lessons you've incorporated into sharing your gifts and talents. Therefore, you're stepping into your spotlight and it keeps you standing in your spotlight. So bravo to that. That is hot. Love that. 
Love it. And you know, that, it. that's exactly the point, Joey. It, it keeps me being courageous. If I have to blog about courage every week, if I'm coaching other people around courage, you better believe it's coming up for me in my own life where I'm thinking I have to be courageous now. And, and that's part that. of it too. Yeah. See, I love your authenticity. And I like how you're being very, you know, open with people out there because you, you and I both know that there's, there is this movement sometimes like I've seen over the years where there's a lot of smoke and mirrors where people are like, Oh, I've got my whole life together. So I'm going to be a life coach. And yet they, <laughs> they're a hot mess. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I would, I would expect people just saying I'm a hot mess. Therefore I'm going to be a hot life coach that I can be learning to do as we go along. Absolutely. And I so would appreciate that. So it, that again, and that takes so much courage if you're joining us right now, everyone, the topic is din dig in um, with courage with Coach Sue. And I think that that is tremendous because we all need to find more of that. Now, Sue, I know that you have an incredible blog. And Thank so you. would you share with everyone how why you decided to do your blog and then what it's done for you since you've kicked it off, kicked it, kicked it off since you premiered it? Yeah. Well, actually, the first the first idea for the blog came at that workshop where I met you. So that was a that was an interest, interesting story in and of itself. But I think the reason that I started the blog was really one of my initial courageous steps. And the purpose behind it personally was for me to find my voice discover what it was I cared about and what it is that I wanted to share with other people. And then also to allow myself to be seen. That was another thing that came up in that initial workshop with you is, is influence has something to do with letting yourself be seen. Yes. And for me, that was so tough. That was, yeah, that was a very difficult thing. So the blogging was a way for me to say, I'm going to accept myself. I'm going to firstly find out who is this person, Sue, and I'm going to accept myself by saying it, it in a public format. This is who I am. Mm -hmm. This is what I struggle with. This is what I care about as a way of really just owning it. And as that first, first courageous step. But okay. what I found is, is that other people responded to that, you know, that, that people were enjoying reading it. I think, Obviously, there was some curiosity to it in, in that kind of deeper connection with somebody else who's willing to share what they're struggling with. But I think there was something more in that it was somehow that they had that kind of, oh, me too, kind of feeling. Yeah, that that to me is such a red carpet moment. Is you, you you knew you had to get going. You didn't just sit on it. Instead, you're like, why don't I start with the blog and get going? And I know that that was a huge game changer for you. So I think that's really incredible. I want to roll into your first tip, which is your Be Your Own Superstar tip, number one, to accept and allow more, do the work required to learn to love and accept yourself, to learn to celebrate what is unique and valuable about you. And I love that you put in valuable. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right? That, that's so clever. I, I, yeah. I haven't heard it like that before, not the valuable piece. I really believe that. I, I so it, It's one of my, my foundational beliefs is that people are valuable. People are worthwhile. And, and, you know, often, certainly it's something I've struggled with, but I see it in my clients too. We have trouble seeing that in ourselves, never mind other people. And so that's that's often what I'm working with people around that that uh, learning to see how valuable they are and what kind of contribution they have to make. That's beautiful, and I think that yeah. that 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 for sure is a as a Hollywood star moment because we all have a contribution. But too, when I there was a time in my life where I thought that I was just supposed to be in service all the time and not of service. And I really didn't think I had the same contributions as my bosses did, for instance. Mm. So I felt very invisible, but yet I felt very power, power empowered by making everyone else a star. 
and mm -hmm. not making myself a star. So that, mm -hmm. that took a lot of courage for me is to get visible. And so to your point with the courage, coach, right? Now I'm yeah. the visibility influence girl, right? And that's <laughs> what I work on every single day. Yeah. Is staying visible and growing my influence. So yeah. bravo to you. I love that valuable piece. I just think it's so brilliant. And true, right? People yes. are valuable. Yeah. Yes. E but even if you disagree with them. You don't think that though. You know? You know what I mean? It's just kind of like you're kind of just plugging away. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Well, you know, Joey, for me, that that valuable piece actually happened for me at age 16. I had a deeply spiritual experience and I became a Christian at that mm. point. And that was the moment that changed for me is seeing the value of people and all people, whether I agree with them or don't agree with them or whoever they are, people are valuable. People matter. And that changed me. It was like a light switch. Wow. It, it almost it almost felt like something clicked inside of me in that moment that that this now changed. So that's been with me ever since I was sixteen. Yeah. Wow, isn't that yeah. incredible? Mm -hmm. I mean, we don't know where our aha moments are going to come from, right? And yet we all have them when people share with each other, right? And stop pretending like everything is perfect or like yeah. every like everything's buttoned up okay there's nothing to learn from that zero yeah in my opinion you know <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. yeah so i want to share um be your own superstar tip number two grow your visibility influence regularly share blogs vlogs on both or both on your social media platform so i know you've been blogging it's been super yes. cool yeah i've been blogging for about two and a half years now weekly um, which has been, I gotta say it's been a challenge because there's been a lot of weeks where I didn't want to write anything and I didn't want to share anything about what I was going through or struggling with, totally. but it, it kind of forced me to look at what was going on for me and commit to the process. <laughs> deal with it yeah just be yes. in it find find the courageous thing in whatever it was so even if i was feeling really hopeless to find where's the hope in the hopelessness yes that's a courageous thing it's it's that that's such a hot ticket moment you know because um what i was sharing with you before blogging actually is how i was able to launch my first book mm. blogging by but but the discipline of doing it every week forced me to stay in the process of the journey and look at the good, the bad, and the ugly sometimes. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I, do. I, I honestly go back to my my blog archives and there's a whole lot of them in there that I, I would actually like to really? take off. Me too. <laughs> take but off my website. It, I won't do uh, it. I'm like, no, because Dude. that's that's who I was. There's mm -hmm. still residents of that. And yet I yeah. know people are gonna find aha moments in that. But I literally that's how I launched my first book, The Red Carpet Guide to Visibility Influence. Mm -hmm. It's the discipline behind doing it. I wouldn't you encourage everyone to blog at least for a year of their life. It, it's such a game changer, I think. It's like the it's like the ultimate journal, but you have to share it with the marketplace. And let me tell you. <laughs> so so what for you is the thing about the sharing it? Because it is, it's like a journal, but why not just journal? What is the piece about making it public for you that changes things? Well, it, it made me accountable. Yeah. Right? That's exactly what it was for me too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You say you want to be courageous. Well, you don't look like you're being very courageous right now. What like <laughs> what's up you're a courage coach like do something courageous you know so, yeah. I, I i talk about the the visibility and the influence piece um in my book my second book is coming out too but i'm, I'm blogging a lot about this right now because mm -hmm. i want people to realize that people like will smith or jeff goldblum or katie perry all the all of them the reason that they are standing in such a powerful spotlight right now is because they were courageous in terms of showing up and sharing their gifts and talents and not hiding it. 
That's that 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 is the difference between being good at something and greatness, in my opinion. Yeah, really it doesn't mean that they're more talented than anyone else. They just were courageous like yourself, and they're sharing their gifts and talents, and and willing to keep pushing through. Because I bet it wasn't always easy for any of them. No. Oh yeah. my God, no! Right? Yeah. It's not, and it's not always easy for you and I. Yeah. That's what want, like I'm sure when you come out with your blogs, people are like, oh. See, Sue's so good. She's such a great blogger and good for her. And you know what? God, I really admire that. But do they are they also realizing that there are times when it's just been like painful to share that blog out there? Well, I have to tell you, someone told me the other day that I was intimidating to her when she wow, first met yeah. me. And I yeah. I was floored. I thought. You got to be kidding me. What what on earth about me would intimidate you? And she said it was only when she started hearing my story of how much I struggled with fear yeah. and how huge of an influence that was for me, you know, up to a certain point in my life that she started feeling like, oh, okay, maybe she's not as intimidating as I thought. Yeah, so you never know what people are going to think. Exactly, exactly. And and I think it's so wonderful that she shared that with you. Yeah. You know, giving people props like yeah. you did at the beginning of the show, that's a gift. And it, mm -hmm. it's also a talent. And it doesn't take – listen, there's plenty of spotlights to go around. I tell people that all the time. Agreed. Lots of spotlight out there, right, Sue? Yeah, but I love absolutely. that she shared that with you. What a blessing. It's such yeah. a blessing. And you're such a blessing. I love, love, love your blog. Mm. I love the way you're Thank showing you. up out there in the marketplace. And a fun fact about Sue is that um, she took um, competitive jazz dancing in your early 30s and terrifying and then you competed for about seven years <laughs> <laughs> you can and never the, tell me that that's so, super cool that's super fun. that was that was the beginning of my journey with courage i decided to make a list of everything that terrified me and then pick something and do it as a way to kind of break my boundaries that i had created and this is what i chose competitive jazz dancing i mean I must have been completely insane. But anyway, it certainly helped to, to get me out of that, you know, just being so afraid and thinking that that meant I couldn't, I couldn't do it if I was afraid. So I was afraid. I thought I was going to throw up the first time I went on stage. But, you know, you, just because you're afraid, it doesn't mean you have to not do it. You can do it anyway if it matters enough to you. Yeah. I agree. I'm, I'm yeah. going to do an ask. I'm going to, we're going to put your link to your blog and to connecting directly with Sue, the courage, the courage coach. I'm going to ask everyone to do it. The, even when, if you feel intimidated, if you feel anxious, because, because it, 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 it will change your life. Yeah. Do right? it anyway. Ha, do it anyways and yeah. have the courage to, Get the support yes. of Sue to help you through, cross bridges because we can't do it alone, sister. We can't. Uh, absolutely. I mean, I know right. I tried for years. It was not working. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we need coaches. We need spiritual advisors. We absolutely. need people to explain to us tools and techniques so we can get across those bridges. And Sue is all of that. I'm such a big fan of your Sue. I'm so appreciative that you came on the Thank show. You. Thank you so much. Um, I'll have definitely be having you back on the show again. As Wonderful. I want, I want you to share more about as the at towards the end of the year. I want you to share with the audience other courageous, um, you know, uh, things on your list that you went for because I think that'll be super hot. Yes, you want me to say that now? No, I'm going to have you back on the show oh, towards the end okay. of the year so oh, that wonderful. you can share Thank with you. everyone so that you can so you show because as we walk our okay. talk, other people will do the same, right? You're opening doors Absolutely. for other people to do the same. Absolutely. I think that is so brilliant. Um, we'll also put your, your contact information below. If you guys are watching the show now, please share it out, you know, spread the love. Um, you know, spread the spotlight out there. Uh, Sue and I will super appreciate that. And um, I, we will be back. I will have another superstar on in two weeks from this Monday. And uh, can't wait for that as well. And I always end it like this. It is your birthright. 
to stand in your visibility influence spotlight and shine bright everyone until then ciao everyone thank you again sue Thanks, bye. Joey. bye